Why do we need to improve the herd? This answer lies what animal husbandry aims at that you have studied. And how do we bring about that improvement? That answer lies in this lesson. How do we bring it? We have a term that is artificial insemination. A very important tool in bringing about breedings aimed at herd improvement. Whenever a person or a farmer who aims at improving its herd who is into this process of into this practice of animal husbandry he or she is often going to aim at a better animal produce and that better animal produce could be brought about if you have a good breed at your dispense. Now how to bring about that good breeds in your hand that is being carried out by a method known as artificial insemination method. We had talked about this method when we studied human reproduction that supposedly a male is having a lower sperm count then the female has to be artificially inseminated. Supposedly the male is not able to fertilize the female egg then we need artificial insemination. The motility of the sperms is low then also we need artificial insemination. Here we need artificial insemination to bring about the breeding processes. Okay. Now we had studied in breeding, in animal breeding that you have inbreeding, you have outbreeding, you have interspecific hybridization. The animal breeding aims at bringing about two parents close to each other, breed them, cause their uh, fertilization, cause fertilization inside it and get a good progeny, superior progeny. That is what animal breeding aims at. We have studied it. Now, what is this artificial insemination and what are the benefits of artificial insemination? Firstly, a superior bull would be taken into consideration. This superior bull has been achieved by a series of pure line crosses so that you get the characteristic in proper uh, you know proportion and when we talk about superior bull it should be having huge uh, large sized body and lean meat that is the consideration for a bull to be superior this superior bull's semen is taken and is inserted into the uterus of female superior cow now which cow would be superior which is having a large amount of milk produce being given so lean meat strong body greater milk produce these two characteristics make the father and mother superior and the semen from the superior bull is to be taken and injected into as many superior cows. So at a time semen of the superior bull can impregnate many cows in one go. This process is known as artificial insemination okay as you know the animals the cattle animals they have their ostrich cycle not necessarily every female would have produced the ovules or not necessarily the male would have the semen released so it is better to store the semen nowadays in our country itself there are many uh, online portals where you can buy the semen for artificial insemination from the superior bull so semen is taken and the cow wherever it is present it can be impregnated and you can get whatever produce you are desiring from the superior cows so this is what artificial insemination is all about now what are the benefits of artificial insemination as i told you in its description only you can impregnate a number of cows in one go. Secondly, usually you don't find superior bull, so you can go and buy the semen of a superior bull, whatever qualities you are seeking, you can just buy the semen and artificially inseminate the female and get the desired characters. It is responsible for, it, it is in a way responsible for overcoming the inbreeding depression that we had talked about because of uh, continuous inbreeding, the heteros, uh, homozygosity comes and we can overcome 
this inbreeding depression by artificial insemination and there are certain cases when the female is not male is not receptive or female is not receptive then also this artificial insemination can be used by the farmers for their own benefit and whatever produce they are seeking from the male or the female they can get it and improve their uh, herds and get best benefits by practicing the animal husbandry. So this is what you have to keep in mind whenever the term artificial insemination comes in front of you.